Hello, we're Pierce the Veil, and we covered Karma Police by Radiohead for Like a Version. Karma Police, why not? You know, why not cover <laughs> Karma Police Radiohead. by Radiohead? You know, it's just a song that I've always loved, and, um, you know, I uh, I don't like doing karaoke. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you a little secret about me. And, uh, I thought you'd do secretly love so karaoke. So whenever I think of a song that I would actually sing in karaoke, mm-hmm. I'll, like, write it down, because I'm, yeah. I'm that weird. And mm-hmm. uh, just... that was actually on the list, because I remember, like, just loving singing that song. I really like the risks they take with their music, just because there's their structure is so different from normal songs, yeah. and they don't really try and conform to anything like that. They just kind of yeah. do what they want, and it works that way too. Yeah, so they, they make it seem very accessible and easy to listen to, but then when you really break down the instrumentation and what everyone's doing, it's like, like he was saying, just off the wall creative, and like, why do you do that? That's, that's wild. No rules for them. This is why you're gay. Yeah, we knew we wanted it to have no piano and have it be uh, all guitar based. So it was really about just trying to find the, the right feel for the song. Like once we learned it, then it was like about like trying to put ourselves into it and kind of feel natural mm-hmm. about it. At first I was trying to sing it like Tom York and like kind of like very loose and soft. Mm-hmm. And then I was finding that that wasn't working for our version. So I just kind of like leaned into it and just sang it like we would sing one of our songs. And then I would sing it to my daughter every morning. Mm-hmm. That was how I practiced, like singing. It. Yeah, that's cool. Just playing this depressing song to yeah, like yeah. my <laughs> five-month-old. <laughs> this is what you'll, you'll get. get. She's just like, yeah, Honey? daddy. What? Karma police, I've given all I, I think it's a balance between being honest to the, the original song but also putting your own spin on it. I mean, it's a tough balance, right? But I think my favorite covers, you can tell it's that band style um, mm-hmm. and they take certain liberties with it that I think um, enhance the song but I think that's what in my opinion makes a good cover being able to have a little bit of respect because yeah. the song is already you can't just copy it you gotta yeah. add a little add a little something, something you know stuff like this for us is always a little bit I don't know if scared is the right word it's it's just kind of like you, you never know what like it's going to sound like or what it's going to feel like or you know and we always want everything we do to be really like thought out and, and I think how this was all set up was so pro and so awesome and I'm, I'm stoked about it. I think it's a really cool experience. I remember just getting in an Uber and, and chatting with the driver and talking about Triple J and how they were just like, oh yeah, that's like the biggest thing, you know, so just having that like going into it, knowing it's like people, know, like just the random person that you meet knows what this is and, and the grab and the, the weight of it, it's kind of, it, it felt cool. I just want you to enjoy it. Just, yeah. you know, just put on some headphones. Get wild, get Light weird. a candle and, you know, uh, you know enjoy some yourself some Karma Police. Yeah, you yeah. know.